crazy busy in the subtitle of the book is overstretched, overbooked, and about to snap. And most people, that's all, they, they don't need to read the book. I mean, that, that's it. That, that sort of <laughs> defines people's lives. And, um, you know, it's sort of the, the blessing and the curse of technology is it has allowed us to do so much. And as I say, that's both a blessing and a curse. And you, you find hurried families, hurried businesses, hurried children. Uh, years ago, a book came out uh, called The Hurried Child, still a classic, but uh, boy, if, and that was 1990. If, if they were hurried in 1990, they're turbocharged in, you know, 2012. And it's sort of the, the hurried parent brings the hurried child to the hurried school. And, and you sort of wonder, what's all the rush about? And, and I think uh, the trick is, really, to, in managing it, is to take back control. Uh, we, we, everyone says, well, I have no choice. My lifestyle demands it. My job demands it. My boss demands it. I have to overcommit. I, I have to take on more than I can accomplish. I have to have more to do than time to do it. And my answer is, no, you don't. You know, if you take back control, if you learn how to turn it off, if you learn how to create boundaries, you know, the, the beauty of technology is it's broken down all our boundaries. As Tom Friedman says, the world is flat. Well, to manage modern life, instead of letting it manage you, you have to reconstruct those boundaries according to your own desires. And if you don't, if, you're, if you have a constantly permeable membrane, you will be constantly besieged. 